Beloved by comedy fans and comedy writers alike, The Onion began life as a low-key collegiate humor newspaper before expanding into something far greater. Beyond all the comedy gems The Onion has given us over the years, it's also been strangely accurate in foretelling actual events. Here are headlines from The Onion that actually came true. Area Man consults internet whenever possible. While the World Wide Web was still growing in 2000, The Onion ran a prophetic piece about an office manager who uses the internet for everything from movie times to recipes. With that, The Onion had already accurately anticipated the future with our growing dependence on online information and constant fact-checking. It sure seemed funny at the time. I don't. I mean, I don't do, like, the emails. The emails? It's email. It's just email. Who doesn't have the internet in this day and age? F*** everything. We're doing five blades. The Onion's 2004 article on advances in razor technology lampoons the goofiest conventions of the competitive razor market, with Gillette's one-upping a rival competitor by adding a fifth blade to their razor. Just a year later, Gillette actually announced their intent to add a fifth blade, proving that the shaving industry is beyond parody. You can't keep this up! Don't you know what's gonna happen? Every time you shave it, it's gonna come in thicker and fuller and darker! Overstock.com announces plans to develop original programming. Ever since we discovered that we can watch TV on our computers, companies have scrambled to hop on the bandwagon to provide content and keep us forever in our chairs. Even a few surprising parties have gotten into the mix. Even massive online retailer Overstock.com checked out the growing scene in 2015 in a move that few saw coming, aside from The Onion, of course, who predicted it two years earlier. Without a recent update on Overstock's dreams of keeping tragedy next to the towels and comedy beneath carpets, it all might have just been a pipe dream. Wealthy teen nearly experiences consequence. No matter who we are, we all have to face the consequences of our actions. Well, most of us do, anyway. In a 2008 article, The Onion set up the tragic story of a young man who nearly faces the horrors of being held accountable for an accident he caused when driving drunk. Except he doesn't, because he's rich. Tragically, a similar scenario took place just five years later. In 2013, 16-year-old Ethan Couch hit the roads after drinking and partying, killing four people and injuring ten others. His wrist slap sentence, thanks to his expensive legal team's defense, made the Onion article more like coverage of the trial than the satire it was supposed to be. It's illegal. I'm only 12. I can't be held legally responsible. Hmm, good point. New $5,000 multimedia computer system downloads real-time TV programs, displays them on monitor. In 1998, anyone trying to catch a live broadcast on the web was treated to a painfully long wait and frequent buffer times. Only satirical news sources like The Onion joked futuristically about the revolutionary move of watching television on a computer instead of a TV screen. Now it's basically standard to refer to watching videos on the computer as watching TV. Where's the TV? I watch on my computer. What do you mean you watch on your computer? You're so old. Family lets cars come inside house during snowstorm. Americans are often said to have a love affair with their cars, especially in commercials created by auto manufacturers. In 2015, The Onion published an amusing news flash about a Massachusetts family that took their vehicular affections to the extreme by bringing their cars into the house during a storm. Not to be outdone by fiction, reality followed suit in 2016. A woman in Florida taking drastic measures to keep her car safe. As the hurricane heads her way, she actually parked her Toyota in her living room. Fearful of the destructive force of Hurricane Matthew, a Florida woman and her fiancé took drastic action to protect her sedan by bringing it straight into the house. There's a car in the kitchen! <laughs> there is? There is. Stephen King, I don't even remember writing the Tommyknockers. Ever since Carrie saw publication in 1974, Stephen King has been the undisputed king of horror. With dozens of novels, collections, and film adaptations floating around, the terror maestro has also become the butt of a few jokes. Back in 1999, The Onion ran a column where Mr. King claims to have absolutely no recollection about writing his novel, The Tommyknockers. While The Onion was wrong about the specific novel, King would admit in his book on writing to have almost no memory of crafting his dog attack classic Cujo. Instead of author burnout, King's lack of memory was the result of a serious drug and alcohol problem. New Delicious Species Discovered It's always a bit of a shock when researchers discover new species, especially if that species is delicious. In their 2005 article, The Onion wrote a satirical discovery of a new, delicious species of monkey. As you might expect, the joke turned out to be disturbingly accurate. In 2010, National Geographic published a report detailing the unveiling 
of a previously undocumented snub-nosed monkey. Sadly, this new critter was already on the endangered list when scientists classified it, due in part to the local demand for meat. Ah, dessert. Thanks for watching. Click the grunge icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel, plus check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love too.